So notice, recording again, is it Shanae? Shate, good job. Notice the last row. What does that say mathematically? Zero equals negative eight. Is this true? No. This is false. What does that mean when we're solving a system of equations? No solution. Any questions? So you have to look out for something like this, right? If you get, when you're doing Gauss Jordan elimination and you get all these guys go away and then you get some number over here. Okay? Let's do another example though. I think this one could be a good problem of the day. I think this will be a good problem of the day. Problem of the day number, what are we on? Six, aren't we? I think it's six. Uh, I did get your last week's problems of the day online. Um, I'll correct it if it's not problem of the day number six. Problem of the day number six. Today's date is three, what? Eleven? Fourteen? So I want you to, for the problem is use Gauss-Jordan elimination. I'm going to try to save some paper space. Uh, but use Gauss-Jordan elimination uh, to solve the system 2x minus y equals 4. And negative 6x plus 3y is equal to a negative 12. And I'll give you a hint. You need to transfer your knowledge from uh, the other methods to this one. I don't want that to be too confusing. I'll give you the example. Notice that when we got a false statement, that meant no solution. What do you think would happen if we did this and we got a true statement? What did it mean in the other methods? They're dependent, so the solution was infinite solution, uh, or the, the equation, the solution was the line, right? So yeah, dependent system is a good word to know there. If, it, if you end up getting a true statement here. Yep. I'm sorry? Yes, use Gauss Jordan. So you, you have to write it in a matrix form, do some row operations, and when you get an answer, let me know. 